Hi, I'm Mike Atkins from Facebook, and I'm also the Vice Chairman of the Board of the Messaging, Mobile, and Malware Anti-Abuse Working Group, or MOG. And I'm here today with John Ray Grant from Google. And we're going to talk to you about email encryption, specifically SMTP over TLS. There's been a lot of attention paid to this topic in the media recently. Uh, so John, could you tell us a little bit about why Google thinks that this topic is so important? Sure. Email is something that's been with us for a long time, and it was really you know, based on standard protocols that were designed around email being an easy way of exchanging uh, clear text uh, so that anybody who received the email could look at it, which includes anywhere along the line, um, anybody could intercept the email and look at it. That's not the level of security that is required today for sensitive personal information that's an important part of any user's life. Uh, so Google feels it's really important that over time, we're increasing the security and privacy of any kind of electronic communications on the internet. And most, and very importantly, uh, email is a, you know, a hugely personal part of that. We think it's really important that people realize whether their email is secure and that it's consistently getting more and more secure. Yeah. And you know, as, as Facebook, obviously, we send a lot of email, and, and we're concerned about you know, protecting our users' data and protecting their, their, their privacy. So you know, a few months ago, when we moved to turn on uh, TLS to, to encrypt all our outbound email, uh, kind of the first question that popped in our minds is how, how much of it is actually being encrypted? Because mm -hmm. as you know, uh, the, the way it works is both sides have to support it in, in order for it to work. Both sides have to have encryption enabled. And anecdotally, we had heard that even though uh, you, know, you talk about the standards that have been around a really long time, uh, I think SMTP over TLS has been technically a standard for 10 years, mm -hmm. uh, but kind of anecdotally, we heard that it wasn't really all that widely deployed. So we were very concerned that even enabling it, we weren't really getting that much coverage. Uh, but we were actually uh, very surprised by how many systems actually have it enabled, uh, so much so that we felt like uh, publishing a, a report to make people aware of it. Uh, and uh, for anyone interested, they can find that on, on Facebook on our uh, Protect the Graph security blog. Um, but we found that the majority of systems on the internet now actually do support at least uh, opportunistic mm -hmm. encryption with TLS, which is which is actually really good. It's much better than we expected. We had somewhere between uh, 60 and 70 percent, depending on how you wanted to count individual mail mm -hmm. systems. Uh, and I know that, that Google recently published uh, similar data on their transparency report. Can, can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure. So similar to what you were trying to do, we wanted to get a real handle on what percentage of email that you know leaves Gmail um, or comes into Gmail is encrypted. Uh, Gmail has implemented TLS, supported TLS since 2010, but of course the other party has to, has to implement it. Otherwise we can't encrypt on the outbound, and we can't receive it encrypted. So um, what, we try, what we're doing with the transparency report is we wanted to let everybody know, um, first of all, what percentage of inbound mail to Gmail users from, from other uh, providers, and what percentage of outbound mail from Gmail was actually encrypted, and then for every particular domain, every particular service, what percentage of inbound and outbound was encrypted. So you can actually go to the Google website, the Google Transparency Report, and look it up and you know, look up your particular provider and find out um, what percentage of the mail is encrypted. That's great. And are you, are you guys going to be doing this on an ongoing basis? Are you going to update this? It's, it's live data. Well, it's, it's, it's slightly lagged data. It's about, uh, about a five-day delay. Um, that may change, but, but it's live updated. Basically live. So it's constantly tracking. Even in the week since we, uh, since we announced it, we've seen some significant changes in the numbers. Yeah, that's great. I think, I think we've really kind of hit this tipping point where um, it's become visible enough to users due to all, all, all the press and everything that people have a real incentive to kind of get on board with this. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like we're doing a really great job pushing people to adopt. And you know, anybody out there that isn't already doing it kind of is, is feeling the pressure mm -hmm. to kind of join in at this point. So, so now that we have the attention of the industry, and now, now that we've got everybody moving forward, so what are the next things that we should be doing after this to continue ratcheting things down? You know, I, I mean, I think uh, the work is far from done. Um, the, uh, it's, a, it's a long tail problem. So it's relatively easy to get the big players to implement this, and then we get up to fairly high percentage. But the remaining percentage, the long tail, yeah. uh, is very important. And that's, and that's a slower process, because there's a lot, more, uh, a lot more parties involved. And so I think we have a lot of work just in getting to that point where the av most mail is now encrypted. Right. Uh, that, that's an extremely um, important point for, you know, the, the average user, you do, they don't want to try to figure out whether something's going to be encrypted. So I think there's a lot of work to be done to just get the long tail, right, to get to the point where we're at very, very high 
high 90s percentage of, of encrypted email. Uh, and working with the, the people in the industry to make that happen, what do you think we can do to make that happen? Well, you know, I think for starters, we have to make sure that out of the box, everything is just encrypted this way. You know, so many systems, uh, the default configuration is still not to, to run in encrypted mode. And I think uh, until you can get to the point where even you know, novice and personal operators are, are doing it without having to put a whole lot of thought into it, I think we're still going to see some number of systems out there that, that don't have it mm -hmm. uh, encrypted as we would like to see them do it. Um, so we here at MOG are, are committed to pushing this forward and helping secure the entire ecosystem as best we can. Um, once again, uh, I'm, I'm Mike Atkins. I'd like to thank uh, John for chatting with us a few minutes, uh, reporting for MOG from Brussels. Thank you. Thanks.